happy diwali and happy children's day and welcome to this ips meet webinar today i am joined by another member ips member prema kakade hi prema hi harik hello viewers yeah wonderful so proceed yeah. with today's session Now, before we proceed with today's session of the day, a few announcements on behalf of YPS. Twenty-fourth November is the last day to submit your best work to YPS Francis Round 2020. So hurry up and start uploading your best work. Coming to the next next week's YPS Meet session is from Mr. Anil Rikal Singh. who will be talking about his experimentation with form and color which anil converts ordinary looking structures into contemporary art and says my main aim and concept is to create something unusual the most usual and ordinary looking things now as the saying goes good things come in small packages so does the excellence from the young yps is proud to present the award winning the masters they will be showcasing their photography skills which is sure to inspire every child or the child in new let's welcome our today's speakers ms anaga mohan mr prajain and ms shikti reddy Thanks for having me here. Good evening, everyone. 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 Yeah. Happy Diwali and happy Diwali to all three of you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Hardik. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely. I'm so happy, I'm happy to be all there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's good to see you all the parents. So, so, hello, hello, Mr. Ravi, Mr. Ravi, happy Deepavali, happy Deepavali. One, one. Happy Deepavali. Hmm. Happy Deepavali and Happy Children's Day. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Now, let us introduce our little masters of YPS, starting with Anaga Mohan. Mohan. Um. Um. Let us in. 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 I request the others to put their view, uh, mic on mute. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Anagha's parents are Manju Mohan, and um, it's uh, sorry, I'm being <laughs> this one, you know, and Lalita Mohan. They are her parents. Now Anagha, she is 14 years old. and studying in 9th standard at purna pragna education center she developed interest in wildlife photography watching her father mr manju mohan kes who is a wildlife photographer well he is well known in yps everybody must be aware of him anyway. and her mother mrs lalita mohan is a strong supporter as well she is always behind Anaga, whenever Anaga wants to go out on a shoot, whenever she wants to go on a workshop, I see a lot of encouragement coming from her mother as well. So parental support is a major factor for budding talent to bloom. In fact, last year when we were at an astro workshop at Chetty Hundi, it was conducted by YPS where Anaga was also a participant. Do you remember that Anaga? Yes, I do. Yeah, you do, and I remember you hoisted on your father's shoulder 
you know, I was really surprised to see her. She's up on her pa- at the shoulder. I said, what are you doing, Anaka? She tells me, well, I want to take a picture. Like, you know, that's the kind of support a little uh, masters get from their parents. This program especially is so special for us because this is the first time that the junior associates are live online. You know, they are presenting live online. Um, though we have had uh, some presentations by Suhas and Shreyas in the YPS hall, but now, you know, because of the pandemic, it's all online and this is something very different for them to do. Uh, to talk about the junior associates, we have 32 junior associates, nine girls and 23 boys between the age of 13 to 18. And all the junior associates are doing excellent work with photography. In fact, we are looking forward to presenting more junior associates work in the future. Now, these three children that we are presenting today, they are the winners at the of youth awards at the recently concluded YPS All India Digital Salon. Now to talk more about Anika, she has been attending most of the programs conducted at YPS, not only the programs, even the workshops. And under the mentorship of our president, Het Satish, she has ventured into other genres of photography. Earlier, she was very interested only in wildlife. And now, because of his encouragement, she's got into other genres such as macro, astro, and glassware. I remember Anaga was in the glassware workshop as well. You know. In 2018, she won a special mention award in Nature in Focus Festival. In the same year, her picture, Frog on Beans, image was exhibited at Magro Exhibition Dubai, conducted by Pop Dreams. Then in 2019, she won the Emerging Talent Award in Canon Wild Click Life Contest, conducted by Nature Wanderers at Little Run of Kutch. Now, Anika is a winner of two youth awards, one in Nature Section, and one in color sections at the YPS All India Digital Salon 2020. So here is her story. And you'll see more of her work. You'll see the wonderful work that she's been doing in the program presence. Over to you, Hardik, to introduce Param. Thank you. Param. Param is studying in class 8 at Rotary School, Moodbidri. And he's very artistic by nature. And he says his parents and school support and encourage him in all aspects. He started photography two years back, watching his father, Mr. Dinesh Prashad's photography. He enjoys clicking pictures of birds, nature, festivals such as Booth Kola and Thiam. As he could not go out to shoot during this COVID pandemic, he started utilizing his time in drawing and painting. He also plays keyboard and violin. Swaram is a winner of two youth awards in travel and monochrome section at the YPS All India Digital Salon 2020. Congratulations, Swaram. Uh, we really love your images. We, love to, we, will have to, we want to see more from you. And I would also welcome uh, Dinesh, sir, and ma'am, uh, to joining us with us today. So happy to see you. Uh, you know, it's uh, definitely like Thank a celebration, you. as just Sakesh uh, mentioned there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, before I introduce Yukti, yeah. I would like to ask a couple of questions to the parents, uh, to Anagha's parents. How, how, how hard is it for, for you to, you know, you know uh, understand, uh, understand her passion, her passion, passion for photography for and her 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 you? Come again. Uh, how uh, hard is how it for you to, for you to, you know, to uh, understand uh, her passion for photography and balance between her studies and her, you know, passion for uh, pictures? So how do you so do how this? Do you how do you manage? Do you manage? Mm, right now we are managing during our holidays, like uh, 
the Dasara holidays or the uh, summer holidays. But uh, during certain times, like she went for the scan and white click, we could get uh, leave, applied leave from the school. And they were kind enough to give uh, leave for a week to go and attend that. That's so wonderful. Wonderful. Is also encouraging. Well, a, a sort of bit, <laughs> not very much, but a sort of they're helping definitely. Uh, again, it's a balance between studies and passion. So she is, uh, I feel, independent enough to make a decision and uh, take a decision rather between the passion and the study. So I have very that's less work. Right, that's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, is she always making demand for, you know, you know, equipment? equipment. Pardon? Is she always making demand for equipment, extra equipment? And, uh, or is she satisfied with what she has or she just takes your equipment and then, you know, experiments? With those she already, with she already has the best equipment what I have, so <laughs> there is nothing to make a demand. So, I think I have to say about your parents. Not a demand, I have to request her now to give give it back to me. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's good to hear. That's wonderful. Anaka, would you Anaka, like to say like to your parents? Uh, yeah, I would like to thank them for supporting very much and sending me to a lot of camps and workshops and allowing me to travel a lot of time. So, thank you so much. Most welcome. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing your thoughts about each other. Now, coming to Param Hadik, would you? Do the honors of asking the parents. Yeah. So, uh, Jinesha and ma'am, so how is Param? How is he in studies and photography? And what does he do the naughty things to uh, get some equipment? Or, you know, he wants to try out some new things. So, what does he do? And how is he? Uh, Photography is a good thing. I hope that I will be able to do it. 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 I will but whenever opportunity is there, he doesn't uh, wait for that. Even in midnight, okay. he's ready to go. Early morning, anytime. Okay, that's good. Okay, so what are the things you would want uh, Param to do in future? Whatever he wants, yeah, we'll support him in each and every step of him. Oh, that, that's so great. Yeah. So, Param, what, what, is your, what are your thoughts, you know, the way your parents support or, you know, the uh, teachers at school, your friends, what do they do? How do they help you in, you know, coming a photographer or in studies or you started playing keyboard and violin? So, can you share your thoughts? Yeah, they support me for or everything. Or if you have planes. Okay. What? Or if you have any complaints about your parents, you know, that you didn't get this particular equipment or you didn't get this or something happened. Yeah, this is the time you can get something out of them. <laughs> yeah, they support uh, me in everything, uh, whatever interest I have. So I want to thank them. Wow, good. That's good to hear. Yeah. Okay, moving to uh, Yukti's introduction. Uh, Pra, can you do the honor? Yeah, thank you, Habek. So Yukti is with her parents. You can see the proud smile on their faces. Of course, yeah, it's a proud moment for all the parents. I can understand that. Now, she is also a 14-year-old, and she's passionate towards photography. These are her exact words. 
She is passionate towards photography. She is in the ninth grade at MES Kishore Kendra Public School. It's so wonderful to see, you know, some encouragement coming from the schools as well. I hope the teachers are watching. It's really a proud moment to see their end students doing, you know, good at extracurricular activities. And this is a wonderful hobby. And I only hope that a lot more children will take it up. They should be the role models for the other children. That's my hope. Now, Yukti was influenced by her father, Mr. Padmaka Reddy. There you can see him sitting. And he also does photography. And of course, he is good at it. Now, she has also found great support in her mother, Mrs. Priya Reddy, who also is a photographer in her own rights. In fact, it is she who helps and advises Yukti to do her processing. You know, all these children, they process the images on their own. It's not like they're just clicking and, you know, rest of the work is being done by their parents or by seniors. No, right from the scratch, they are into it. At the most, yeah, they do, you know, get advice from the parents, which is very understandable, of course. And Yukti's interest in photography are wildlife and nature. She says flora and fauna interest her a lot. You will see that in her pictures. Though she is very shy and low profile, you know, I'm sure she is going to blossom into a fine photographer as a result of her interest and dedication to the art. She is also good at conducting interviews. I had seen her interview Anaka once and both of them did a wonderful job. You know, young children like this going on their own and doing a lot of extracurricular activities is wonderful to see. She is also a winner of the Youth Award in Nature Section at the YPS All India Digital Salon 2020. So all the three have been winners this time and that is how we picked these three children for this program. Later on the other children of course will be showcasing their images as well. So thank you so much and I would like to ask Priya now, does Yuki, you know, once she wants her images to be processed or, you know, she is, do you, you ever have to tell her, no, this is your study time. So, you know, <laughs> or you're busy and you won't be able to do the processing helper. And does she pester you for that? I, I want an honest know. answer. I don't want all the goody goody <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Yeah, earlier when she didn't know much about the processing idea at all, she used to pester me asking that, you know, do it, you know, because you do it for dad so quickly, why don't you do it for my images? So it used yeah. to be always a competition. My images or dad's images or your images. So I was like always the last to keep my images on hold, saying that, okay, let me be done with your dad, yours, and then I come to my pictures. But now that she knows a lot about the processing, so she does it on her own. Yeah, or until she learned about, she had a hold about the processing, she was behind me, but now she manages herself. But yes, in the final, she wants me to have a look at it and, you know, give her a comment saying that, you know, does it really look good on the screen or does it need uh, reprocessing or should it be redone or anything? See? Otherwise, she's always on her own. Oh, and she doesn't right. bother me. That's anymore. nice to hear. But how much is the competition between the three of you in the family now? I, I'm sure there's a healthy competition. I'm sure there's a healthy competition. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not even counted in the race. It's like, mommy, you can do it whenever you want. No, I'm not even in the race. So it's always between oh, them. The path so as I said, you, and actually, you know, they both go on a trip together a lot than me joining them. So safaris are always between them. So it's always like you did two images of processing of his images not two images of mine four there then four mine but it, so it's like the count goes on like that so when i ask them what about you they say you have enough time in the world do our work first what about the break <laughs> yeah. yeah sorry what about the bribe you take no he <laughs> to process the images. So I said I need to keep a healthy competition between them. So I asked them to bribe me. Whoever bribes me, well, I'll process the images of, first. So, of course, you have to make hay while the sun shines. <laughs> yeah. 
Wonderful. Sure. So, Yukti, would you like to say something about your parents? Uh, I think that I'm the luckiest kid to wow. have such nice parents. <laughs> and uh, I'm really happy. They support me with everything. My dad, especially when her mom scolds me also, mom, my dad supports <laughs> me. Dad supports me. And uh, yeah, I'm really thankful for them. Wonderful, wonderful to have you all here. So now let's enjoy the show. Let's enjoy the pictures that they have done and the work. And yeah, thank you. Thank you, parents, especially for all the support that you show to these children. And you know, they really are so happy. They really are so happy to be doing all their work. Thank you. Thank you. All their work. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. You. All the best, Anaga, Param, and the Yukti. Thank you. Rock. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you thank for you. providing a platform to our children. Yeah. We want to showcase, showcase more of their images. So thanks a lot, Parvi. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. So we'll put back and so we'll put back in everyone. Okay. Yeah. Before we begin our today's session, I mean the presentation, I'd like to say I'm really proud of YPS for you know many things, and this is one among them. Junior Associates. So Junior Associate is a is restricted pseudo membership offered to young photographers under the age of 12 to 18. You can know more about Junior Associate on the link posted in the comment section and or you, or you can just visit our website to know more. Now, if you are, this is to the audience, if you are a friend or a relative or from the school, we would like you to comment and we will try to bring them up on the screen. I can already see a lot of comments. Uh, one from uh, Vyata, which, uh, it's, for, it's for Yukti, it says, good Yukti, keep up the same spirit. There's another comment that says, uh, which is from Ms. Tilaka, Jane, who says, congratulations and best wishes to our dear Param in exploring more in the field from Rotary Institution Management, the principal, the administrators, and from all the faculty. Also, if you are on Facebook, we would like you to share this with your friends and relatives and cheer these little masters right now. So go hit the like button and share and try to send it to someone on the WhatsApp saying that, you know, you can join, uh, the thing is about to start. And if you are on the YouTube, give the like and do subscribe to our YouTube channel to, for more, uh, you know, content like this. Don't wait, just hit the share button and start sharing with your friends and ask them to join. And uh, I will keep bringing up the comments as in when you post. Now let us start the session. Also, if you are seeing uh, the subtitles on the Facebook, uh, those are auto-generated by Facebook and not from uh, our end. So we request you to go to the settings or click on the CC icon to turn them off. And we request you to put the resolution to maximum that is 720p to get the best experience. Also, if you're watching it on phone, we would request you to watch them on laptop, desktop, or even better, on your television. Starting with Anaga. So before we see Anaga's images, this is how, you know, this is a behind the scenes. Yeah, this is what they do to get their best shots. Anaga, is this your tripod? You're trying to, you know, take a, take the tripod and run away. Someone is his tripod. <laughs> <laughs> so I was done shooting and a friend of mine shot this. Uh, we were moving to another location in Kutch. So thank you to my friend who shot this. The, the, the tripod, tripod is tripod taller than you. Know. It's a bigger. <laughs> the tripod is taller than you. Yeah, there we go. So when he's jumping up to take a shot. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good evening. Happy Diwali and happy Children's Day. Uh, 
I would like to start off my presentation by showing uh, the favorite subject of mine that is elephant. So I shot this elephant image in Jim Corbett. As you can see the beautiful landscape of Corbett. So when was this a beautiful setting? Uh, this was shot last year in May. It's a beautiful picture. And I really love the, you know, the uh, fog colors. Yeah. So the, again, these images are from Jim Corbett National Park. Um, and sorry for the glitch. I go to the next image. There's a little baby still in yeah. the water, seems to be coming out last. Yeah, I can see myself. And uh, can we go to the next image, Hartik? There seems to be a little lag yeah. or. Right now, there's an image of uh, two elephants, uh, elephant and its baby. It is the one you are. Uh, for us, it's no. It's still the first image we are on. Is it? Uh, okay, let me try refreshing one. Can you see it now? Yeah. Ah. So the series of images were shot in Jim Corbett National Park. And the elephants of Corbett are really beautiful and I love shooting elephants. And this images, this image shows the behavior of elephant. It is the mother is trying to protect its calf from the jeeps and the intruders. And it's nice to see that you have included a lot of the environment so you get to know what the forest looks like or there instead of taking a tight shot of the elephant and the you know its calf and and uh, did you wait for the moment when it uh, played up its ears did you did you wait yes. for that moment you did mm -hmm. i waited for it to turn towards me so mm -hmm. the flare of the ear was ac accidental mm -hmm. Beautiful. So again, this oh. was uh, shot in Jim Corbett. Uh, mm -hmm. I like shooting in different lighting conditions, and this was shot. Uh, this is more like a spotlight effect, and it was shot during the golden hour. Mm -hmm. Most of my elephant images are from Corbett. I see. And what made you convert this to a monochrome? I think the golden light and the spotlight looks much better in monochrome. And I, I generally like elephants in monochrome. And there was only, there's not many colors going on in the frame. So I thought it would be better to convert it into monochrome. That's a wonderful process, really. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, you uh, process this yourself? Yes, I process this myself. Oh, wow. Uh, this was shot in Bandipur National Park. 
uh, we were heading and there was no alarm calls and suddenly we saw this leopard coming towards us it was a really nice sighting and we were the only jeep there so when the the leopard eventually went into the bushes and when we, when it was about to get into the bushes two more jeep came so i think i would like to say it was exclusive sighting so it was much more special okay. <laughs> all right it's like you you two are about to have a conversation mm. it seems to have come to say hi to you you know that's the expression i see on the leopard <laughs> yeah yeah are you at any time do you get a little nervous when you see a wild animal in the wild oh no i don't get nervous uh they won't do anything to you unless you tease them or do something to them that really i trust animals more than human beings they really calm and unless you tease them they don't do any harm to you mm-hmm. yeah very true is that we have this perception you know that uh, you go to this wild animals and the first thing they will do is you know uh, try to scare you but no that's the other way around i mean as you said rightly they do not do anything you try to you know harm them or something i so guess that's, that's really because they're brought up that way so and that's why we are so, so, so this uh, has uh, yeah so i guess photography has taught you all this you know the behavior how you should behave towards the animals and what uh, you know how precious they are in our lives so did you know about all this before photography or was this uh, you know it came to you during the course of learning photography uh before photography i, I didn't know anything i would uh, majorly like to thank philip ross because he tells us how to be- uh, behave with animals and like ma- maintain the line and we should not cross the line so i would like to thank philip if you're watching for uh, teaching us about animal behavior how to respect the animal and i think it's played a very important part in my photography too nice to hear yeah is absolutely beautiful so again you know, longur from kabini yeah uh, your dear friend I'm kind of into uh, trying different lightings and different settings and we shot uh, we found this langur like right there and even yukti was there in the sighting so yeah i think yukti has one in color right yukti yeah yeah wonderful a perfect image for a wall for <laughs> <laughs> these are wild ass in their habitat and this was shot in little run of kutch last year uh, many mm-hmm. people would say why have you included the house in the background so i have included that because i wanted to show where uh, they are living and they are living peacefully with man animal and everyone says man animal conflict but i would like to say some, there are some places where man and animal both coexist and this is a classic example of that yeah there's a lesson to learn in pictures seeing pictures like this where you know you don't have to always talk about man and animal conflict there is always a possibility of coexistence that's wonderful you know that the thought came to you and this is the perspective you chose to show yeah so this is a short year dowl again from run of kutch and i wanted to show the colors and how they are again a habitat shot this is how yeah. we found it nice the way the owl is also you know isolated from the background yeah so 
this was this shot in Ramanjitu. This is the signature shot of uh, Mohan. You you take uh, Mr. Manju Mohan, your dad, or your this is like signature shot. Yeah, yeah. he does have a similar. So this was shot in Rangam Tittu. I really like the spots in the water and the, the, you know, the little bit of a backlighting and the water droplets in its mouth. Yeah. Can I ask when, a question? Uh, sure, Yukti, go ahead. Oh, why yeah, did you turn it into a monochrome image? Because I thought the color image would have, you know, given a better, better effect. Uh, because it was not golden light and you know there's only two colors that's the water and the trees in the background I thought you know the trees in the background and the color would be too distracting so in the monochrome it's less distracting it doesn't catch your eye there and I think monochrome enhances the image better and because it's a pelican and it's white you know, it enhances and gives it a, you know, it's difference between the background and the, it doesn't get merged with the background. Yeah, that's a very important point, you know, when you convert to black and white, you can really, you know, separate the subjects, you know, like the background and the foreground, the foreground, your main subject, the pelican and the, if it would be in color, the trees would have taken a major part, which is like green and the pelican would have become kind of minimized. But now the trees have become black kind of, it's going down and the pelican is trying, it's, li it's lifting, it's lifting up. And uh, to all our viewers, to all our audience, this is uh, the reason why, you know, we were uh, recommending you to watch it on a bigger screen. This is just mentioned that uh, there's uh, droplets around this beak, right? So you can actually enjoy them. You watch them on a big screen, you go, you go like, wow, this is that kind of image. Yeah. It's beautiful is, setting. Uh, these are two red whiskered bulbul. This was shot in Korg a few weeks back. Mm -hmm. and they're having a playful fight for a, for the food. Mm -hmm. So you had gone on a holiday or was it at the workshop? Uh, so we had gone on a private guided tour with Philip Ross mm -hmm. and to Hornbill's Nest, Cork. Uh, we yeah. went as more of a, uh, we went for birding actually, and we ended up uh, hopping a lot, and we found a lot of species of frogs and snakes. It was a very productive tour. Wow. Yeah. So you are somebody who isn't scared of either the reptiles or the amphibians, right? Uh, no, I'm not scared. You're not? <laughs> yeah. Initially I was, but after my first oh. macro rip, uh, ah. it completely changed my way of looking at frogs. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing, you know, where we have so many macro outings from YPS. I see Anagha also on this outings. You know, that's where we learn about the beauty of all these small creatures. Usually wildlife was taken, you know, looking for the big animals and bigger birds and all that. But then once you start macro, you know, you appreciate the little creatures so much. You know, you see the beauty. You will never again kill a bug. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and talking about birds, we have something really interesting coming from Param in the next few slides when his presentation comes up. So yeah, stay tuned. He has a really beautiful story behind the bird body I shot. <laughs> yeah, Param is now trying to become a wildlife photographer as well. This was yeah. uh, this is a golden fronted leaf bird. Again, this was shot on the same trip in Kur. Mm -hmm. The lighting is very good, you know, I mean, it's very subtle, it's perfect. Uh, how much did you have to process this after bringing them home? You had done major uh, part during the shoot itself. 
I spent about five minutes processing the images, uh, the birds one, okay. because I we had a lot of time and uh, you know I had I like to uh, shoot at, you know shoot as uh, better as possible. So I, I'll have le lesser work when I come back and process it. So I would like I like to shoot uh, you know how I want it to turn out. So you know all basic adjustments mm -hmm. and I'll be done. So which lens do you use for this? Uh, I shot this with a 500 mm PF lens. Mm -hmm. with a so did you have it on a tripod? Uh, yes, uh, this was shot in a bird height. So I had put it on my tripod. Okay. So have you tried handheld also with a 500 mm? Yes, I have. You have? So do you do some kind of physical training? You know, it's quite a heavy lens. I know that. Uh, because I use I it. Yeah. So I actually use the 500 PF lens, which is quite lighter and I, <laughs> it's fine for me. It, it, it's a very small lens. It comes up hardly this much. Yeah. It's quite See, <laughs> it's half a <her> length. <laughs> That's nice. That's wonderful to know. Yep. But um, mm. I think over the over a period yeah. of time, I'm I can manage a few big lenses like I. I have shot using the 400 mm. It mm. take it, it's it's a little difficult, but uh, for the images I do do it, so it's not an issue. Yeah. This also tells us when we want to use heavy lenses, it's a good idea. You know, it keeps your physical fitness also high when you start training for to carry heavy lenses and you know camera body. So I guess as you grow a little, I'm sure you're going to pay a lot of attention to your physical fitness as well. Yeah. So majorly, I would like to thank my dad because whenever mm. we go on trips, he makes me carry my own equipment. So Absolutely. because of that, I have been used to managing mm. my own stuff when I go on tours alone. So yeah. major thank you to my dad. Yeah, that's very important that you carry your own stuff and you build your own strength and, you know, you do your own stuff because your dad is shooting elsewhere and then, you know, you are not tagging behind him. So that's yeah. good to know. No doubt our parents are biggest supporters. I mean, no one can yeah. reach uh, their level. Again, a uh, dove from the same hide. You know, the fact that you have included those orchids there, the orchid plant, it has made it look like a picture postcard. So did you intentionally include that? Yes, I did. I wanted the, uh, the orchids to be in the frame. Mm -hmm. So, is that uh, where did you learn about composition? You know what looks good and how does it? You know, do you read about photography or you just attend these workshops and learn? And I'm sure your father also must be coaching you a lot. So it happened on various different levels. So firstly, uh, Philip Ross taught me all about composition, and after coming to IPS, I attended a lot of programs, and I would also like to thank. Satish sir, uh, he has mentored me and personally guided me and he's taught me a lot about composition too. And after a period of time, I have realized what looks good, what looks bad. And So here, here, here is a little tip for all the junior associates. There must be all of them on this program. So now you know who to go to and how he is the person who will teach you so you know you don't feel don't hesitate just go and get all the information out of satish he is there to teach anaga is there you know telling you how it is to get uh, you know all the for him to share his knowledge with you and learn of course everybody else on in yps is again of the same um, uh, you know, helpful nature. Anybody you go to, they're always ready to help. 
isn't it? Am I right, Anaka? Do you yeah. agree with that? Yeah, I do. Wonderful. Yeah. So this is a jungle mm. palm squirrel. Again from the same honey. Mm. Again. Here is, you know, I love the lighting. Mm. Lighting is just apt. Lighting is good. The background is also wonderfully blurred. Yeah. Uh, can you go back to the previous yeah. one? The previous one. The squirrel one? No, uh, there's a bicolor frog. Yeah. So from here, I would want to showcase my macro images, my true love. Uh, this is how uh, the, uh, the frog you can see is a bicolored frog. If it's kind of camouflage, if you cannot make out, it's in the right bottom corner. So this yeah. is how frogs are usually found. And we scrub through the grasses and the bushes and we find them. So in the next image, you can see the same frog, uh, the same species. Um, mating. Uh, the, both were shot in different places of Korg. Yeah. This was shot in Evolve Back Korg, and the previous one was shot in Hornbill Nest. Hornbill's Nest. Mm -hmm. Just one quick question: Did you use the uh, flash? Yes, I've used. And uh, how, how did you maintain the flash? I'm sorry. How did you maintain the flash? Like it was off camera flash, and you how how were you holding it? And so some how images, did you come uh, to the shop? some images uh, I have put an off camera flash, but some are uh, mm -hmm. on the camera, and I've used a okay. beetle diffuser on most of the images. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you are on off camera flash, uh, who helps you? You hold it with your hand, one hand, and other. With the camera, or you have someone guiding you? Uh, so, usually uh, I go out with a group. So, all the people mm -hmm. in the group are really sweet and really helpful enough to hold a flash. So, thank you guys for everyone who's helped me at lighting. <laughs> so, this was actually my dad gave the lighting from the top, I guess. Yeah, teamwork. You know, that's so important. And uh, yeah. with team, you can build uh, whatever you want. Yeah. This is a golden frog. Amazing image, really. Uh, yeah. I chose a side yeah, lighting think. because I think um, the name itself, you know, the lighting is kind of goldish in color and it enhances the name itself and you can see it's truly golden color. Huh. And your composition here again is so wonderfully framed. You know, it's uh, it's amazing. Just imagine a fourteen-year-old the kind of work that she's done. It's really worth appreciating. Uh, this is a uh, Rochester's glandulosis or the glandular bush frog. This was shot in Honey Valley Korg. This is one of the most prettiest frogs I've ever seen. These uh, I've seen different morphs of these frogs. And this is a yellow brown morph. In the next image, you can see a green yellow morph. Uh, so frogs and snake. I have a question. Yeah, sure. uh... At what time did you click this? This uh, was picture? shot uh, in the night, uh, I guess around nine o'clock or ten. Oh, yeah, most thanks. of the frogs are nocturnal and they start calling out as the sun sets. Uh, so, mm -hmm. this, so we usually leave out for trails, you know, at six o'clock, seven o'clock, as soon as we start hearing calls. You need to be Mr. Sherlock Holmes. 
So, so have you been bitten you, by leeches? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I didn't get both of you. So you just know the name at the beginning. All I could uh, get was uh, Roger. You know, Federer Roger. <laughs> It's Roy Chester. I don't know how you manage uh, with those difficult names. So usually when we go herping, we, uh, you know, if we see a frog, we call it by the scientific name and we use the scientific name. So I'm a little bit well versed with the scientific name. So all thanks to Philip, I had no idea about frogs. I was shit scared of them. And Philip taught me a lot about frogs and, you know, all my knowledge is because of Philip. Mm-hmm. You are a good student too, because you have learned everything that has been taught to you. That's yeah, what I see. That's important. And um, well, another, you know, most of these are uh, in places where there's a lot of leeches, right? Yeah. So, have you been bitten by one? How was the experience? I have been bitten by leeches, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> you don't even feel it. And you can just put a little bit of salt or just pluck it out. It's not even going to hurt. Mm -hmm. So as I was saying, this is uh, the same frog which you saw la mm -hmm. in the last slide. It's a different mm -hmm. morph of the same frog. So, you know, in various altitudes and various places, you can see different morphs of the same frog. And you can identify the Rochester's glandulosis by the blue ring on its side. Like the half and half blue ring. I see. That's interesting. Yeah. Never go on the colors for I uh, of the body for identifying frogs. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is some particular bean that it is on. Do you know it's the coffee bean? Uh, coffee bean. Uh, so it must be really little, I think, you know, the size yeah, of the frog. Yeah, they were hardly yeah. the size of my thumbnail. Oh, they're so tiny. Yeah. So you used a macro lens for this? Yes, I did. Nikon 105 and mm. So this is a Rochester's luteolus or the core yellow-eyed bush frog. It's a very common bush frog and they're really pretty. Uh, they have a full circle of blue around their eyes. It's a really cute. Right, mm. yeah. uh, can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, is this a froglet or is it a full grown up frog? Uh, it's a sub adult. Uh, okay. Yeah. Have you had one of them land on your lens? One hop and on your lens? Uh, yeah, I have. <laughs> you have had that. Yeah. yeah. So this is a Rochester's Pone Moody or the Pone Moody bush frog. This is the uh, largest among the bush frogs. Yep. The head looks pretty big. I, yeah. I I definitely can't remember all those names. I'll have Anaga side by me. That lot. <laughs> like you know what it is. I'll choose. <laughs> Uh, so, mm. these are one of the most prettiest frogs I've ever seen. Uh, these are, all the three are known, uh, they are Arachophorus lateralis or the gliding frogs, the smaller gliding frogs. So, as you can see, um, I have made this collage so that you can see the three different morphs of the same frog. So, this is mm -hmm. more of a, the first one is more of a brownish uh, morph. The second one is more of a greenish morph and the third one as you can see it's um, very light green in color and it has spots all over it. Yeah. So you can identify it by the line uh, mm -hmm. going in the side of it like you can see the lateral mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. These are gliding. Yeah, okay. uh -huh. uh, so For many kids know. of your age I'm sure a frog is a frog is a frog. But here she is giving us names of various frogs and, you know, even telling us how to identify it. So those to you, Anakha. Thank you. So come, moving on to snakes. This is a green wine snake. This was shot in Coorg in 2018. 
at Honey Valley. It's a famous place for macro and cool. These are mildly venomous snakes, mm -hmm. and they're you know they're really well camouflaged. Usually found on this uh, you know like these branches and stuff. What was your focal length here? How close were you to the snake? Uh, this was also shot in uh, Nikon 105mm macro lens mm -hmm. and uh, you know respecting the animal I went as close as I could without disturbing it or without you know troubling it. Mm. So you were with the group? Yes I was with the group again with Philip Ross and mm. a lot of others. It's a wonderful image. So this is a Malabar pit viper. Again, mm -hmm. these come in various different morphs. This is the orange morph. And I mm. think this has to be the ha hands down. This has to be the most prettiest morph I've ever seen. And, um, you know, we saw like five different morphs of the Malabar pit viper in one trip. And this was so beautiful. And they're so camouflage you can't even make out it's there so like it was on it you know it was on a the you'll see in the uh in the other images uh in the following images that um the other mars and one was on a, a log and we couldn't even make it out we just walked past it and then someone stopped us and told us there's a snake there How well they blend in with nature. Yeah. Yeah. So this also, yeah, you know, how important your observation is. Yeah, while observing. Yeah. Yeah, you can just walk past without no even problem. knowing there's a creature there. Yeah. A note from uh, our own Tusker says uh, a true wildlife photographer knows the names of the species that he is photographing. Very nice and aga, you can remember all the names. And I believe this is because, uh, you know, these masters, these little masters are not just shooting, but they're trying to understand subjects, you know. Yeah. I guess that's yeah. very important before hitting the shutter or before taking out your camera, that you understand your subject, you know, their movements, not just to shoot, but to understand how do they live. Right. Yeah. So this it's a great lesson. Yeah. I'll try remembering one or two probably after I don't know how many shoots. <laughs> uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. This... How do you remember all the names? The I don't. I don't know. This comes. See, um, maybe for I, the she love. She has a seat of... next to her. <laughs> no. Maybe one thing is. Yeah, yeah, it's the passion. Once you have that, you know, how do you remember your friends' names? Yeah. You don't have to make an effort, right? Yeah. So it's with the interest it comes, you know, you just learn. And uh, you, you are also into wildlife. I'm sure you're going to do the same thing. You know, once you, uh, you know, start with other kinds of, uh, you know, creatures, wild creatures, you will make the same effort. Right now you are with a big wild animals and birds is what I see. But uh, yeah, since uh, Anaga is into macro, there are all these little creatures. In fact, even I was very surprised that each spider and each butterfly has a name. In fact, at her age, I didn't even know that they had names. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Sudhir uh, says uh, it's because exactly. of dedication, I feel, and I completely dedication. agree with to that. It is Absolutely, yeah. yeah, it is. I mean, this is what photography does to anyone, you know, you take it up as a hobby, but then you get so dedicated to it and you learn a lot from it. This Look is again this. a different morph. This is the mm -hmm. brown, uh, this is the brown morph with the Malabar pit viper. Uh, I shot, I wanted to show you know, I, I could see how beautiful the pattern was and mm. I wanted to show the viewers from, you know, how it is actually, you know, it was way more beautiful in real life. 
this is just a small depiction of showing it to everyone it's a wonderful depiction and you know you just got to fright when it has lifted its hood mm -hmm. up and you know, the whole body is visible in that frame you know a vertical shot of that yeah <laughs> looking at the snakes i can hear the hiss sound you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can literally, you know, hear it hissing. That's how yeah. uh, realistic and wonderful that picture looks. So again, this is the mm. green morph, or uh, green or the emerald morph of the Malabar pit viper. This is the most common morph, and I think if you can see closely. Um, you know, there's a pit next to the eye in the right side. You can see a small hole. That's called a pit. It's the heat sensing gland of the snake. And that's why it's called a pit viper. So it senses heat. Um, it senses there was a question here, Anaga. Okay. Uh, the previous question, you know, somebody asked, now you shoot and, you know, uh, yeah, if you shoot an unknown animal, how do you find the name of the creature? So how do you go about finding out what it is and then you make a note, what do you do? So firstly, uh, I uh, if I know, you know, I Google lens it. That's the first, mm -hmm. you can, that's the easiest thing everyone can do. And if you're not still sure about it, uh, I would, uh, you can put it up on uh, websites and you can send it to resourceful people or even you can put it up in the YPS macro group so within like you yeah. know within like a minute or two uh, someone comes up and says this is this this is this spider and this is that yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of resourceful people out there so you can just send it to, over to them we have walking and talking encyclopedias on yeah. the groups right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The easiest. I think it's easier than googling. You know, you just put it up there, and within seconds, somebody will tell you what it is. I mean, I take the easier way, way out by putting it on the group and asking guys, ID please, and there it is. Also, after learning the ID, it's very important to you know make sure you mm. know it, and next time when you see yeah. it, you should be yeah. able to recognize that. That's yeah. something I do personally. Yeah. You know, you can always title one of the images so that, you know, you can always go back and you know for sure it is, you know, with, uh, what the I image do with the name. I, mm. What I do is I write down in a book. I have a book mm. and I write mm. it down saying mm. I saw this snake in this place and this color it was and, you know, so that mm. next time I'll mm. be able to ID it better. Identify it, yeah. And I see that you do submit all these pictures in salons and all that. So, you know, the title, you have to give titles for these pictures. So in wildlife, what kind of titles do you give? Uh, for some, you know, for some, there are two types of things. So some places they want the uh, species name and exact thing. But some yeah. places where you have uh, creative freedom, you can name it anything you know like yeah. indian i uh, the t two tigers fighting i named it as indian summer because it was short in summer so whatever comes to your mind you can uh, name it i guess that's what i do but basically when you submit it in nature section it's always to go better to go with the species name also uh it depends on competition mm. uh, actually so mm. If you're submitting it to something like ARPS, so they want uh, you know the exact species name and exact thing. But some places where you have creative freedom, like YPS salons, you can post any name. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this image was uh, again a Malabar pit viper with the tongue out. This is the lighter brown morph of it. And I would like to give a huge, huge shout out to Philip Ross, Samantha, and Shri Prem for Shri Prem for the uh, lighting help, Philip and Sam for everything and spotting the snake. 
गाइडिंग में वॉचिंग So this is a slender coral snake, uh, Calliophis nigerskens. Um, I wanted to show uh, how beautiful the color is. So you can see a brown, uh, sorry, black on the top and a coral pinkish orange color on the bottom. It was so colorful, and this was the last snake we saw on our trip, unfortunately, but. I just love snakes and how beautiful they are. A lot of people I'm sure are scared of snakes, but trust me guys, they don't do anything to you unless and until you go you cross the line. Once you you know when you respect you have to respect them and don't tease them or trouble them. They won't do anything to you. Just trust me, it doesn't do it they don't do anything to you. Yeah, respect that's a huge uh, word that that's so important to respect yeah that's a good advice to all yeah and the signature shot of nagam mohan <laughs> yeah. oh, i would like to thank a lot of people for this event i would i would like to thank arjun harit for uh, the backlighting help and i would like to thank um, mm-hmm. my dad I would also like to thank Pawan Tavre Kare for helping with the flashes. And lastly, I would like to say you don't need to go to fancy places like Kabini Corbett or some fancy place. Uh, this was shot in Valley School, which is like really close in Bangalore. People, if anyone is from Bangalore, you'll know it's very close. You can go to any kind of a park where photography is allowed, and it's a very common subject. And, you know you can try, start out from there if you have a backyard it's great you can start out from there you don't need to go to fancy places or have fancy equipment to do this and that's my message to everyone respect your subjects and start out from your backyard if you have your passion thank you so much uh, i would like to thank oh. yps satish uncle uh, prema ma'am hardik yukti param the whole uh, you know vps committee philip my parents for giving me this huge opportunity without you guys couldn't have been here thank you so much pleasure anaga we are so proud of you keep up the good work and yeah you will get all the support you need at vps in your home and the whole world and sure will be behind you good luck Yeah, this Thank is just a great show, and uh, you know, happy to be associated with you. That is what we can say. And uh, moving to next presentation from that is from Param. And before that, we are getting huge shout out to Param from King Gaming. I I hope that the Param friend says hi, Param. Go ahead. Yeah, his images are coming next. There he is now. and yeah mm, you see all those metals around his yeah. neck and uh, yeah before we see aram timidus let's see what he does behind the scenes mm. now west param if someone can point out <laughs> Yeah, and uh, he was on a oh. uh, you know applause to Anaga, and uh, definitely if we were in a physical uh, presentation right now, we would have seen uh, you know people jumping. So you can do that in comments if you are uh, Anaga's friend or someone from school or relative. Do put in your name and say I'm Anaga so and so. We will try to bring them up and give a shout out. 
and here's another <laughs> that this is so funny <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah you did miss a lot of uh, knowledge yes i agree <laughs> this is a great learning session oh look at the little master look at the way yeah is yes and there is an opening van so param the stage is yours yeah uh, hello everyone uh, my name is param i am from rotary english medium high school mood bidri i want to firstly thank uh, president of yps saloon uh, mr h satish sir uh, for giving this opportunity i want to thank uh, hardik sir vik sir and prema ma'am and also anaga and uh, yukti thank you for uh, supporting uh, this was shot uh, in bunt near bantwala uh, the name of the village is uh, kadabettu so uh, mm -hmm. every year uh, uh, bhuta kola happens uh, during day time and it is so rare so this was uh, a picture from that festival mm. Hmm. And do you can you process this image, uh, Param? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, my dad helped in processing this image. Yeah, of course, helping you. But you also sit on the system yeah. and you try to process it, right? Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. I just love the way that you have got the swirl of the skirt. You know the haze, which yeah. Mm hmm. Very nice. Uh, this was shot in uh, Kerala uh, near Kannur. Uh, this is the image of uh, Tayam. Uh, so I sat down in the ground and uh, shot this image. Uh, yeah. So have you cropped this a lot, or you framed it like this? Yeah, I have cropped it uh, slightly because there were uh, disturbance all around. Uh, mm -hmm. People were. Uh, people were disturbing in the image mm -hmm. so so you basically wanted to show the makeup being done on the artist yeah and so you yeah. have just shown the hands and the face right yeah yeah wonderful it's beautiful so powerful so this was the image of kalushti deva uh, it is a bhuta kola and uh, this was shot near uh, kerala not kerala but uh, near puttur yeah so it was uh, like 3 3 am in the morning so yeah i shot this image and and you didn't feel sleepy you were awake at that time No, no, I didn't feel sleepy. Uh huh. And and I have another question for you, Param. You know, when I look at this action, it seems to be so you know intense and vigorous, and uh, uh, you know there's a lot of action. I can see that. But you're not scared of the way they, you know. I'm sure they do not uh, look at who's no. there near them and all that. You know, and you're not uh, scared. Of i am not exactly. scared but uh, you, we should uh, we will be like a little far not too close to it so you should uh, maintain that distance yeah and there was a question earlier why monochrome why did you convert it to monochrome madhu is asking this question uh it is even in color image uh, this is uh, also in monochrome yeah it, uh, the flames look uh, to it's like a highlight to this image so even monochrome uh, it was so nice 
even in color uh, it is so nice yeah flames look uh, amazing yeah yeah the highlight you so know the skill you know the good highlight yeah that beautifully done and and this is not an easy you know genre to do because of the um, flames which are so bright and then most of this is very dark during the night so uh, did you learn how to shoot all this from your dad because i have seen he does a lot of this kind of pictures too so did yeah, he teach you mm. yeah i learned some from my dad others i experimented and i learned learned myself so when you say experiment how do you experiment what do you do yeah i i i try different different types of uh, like settings but if it is not good i will try another type of uh, settings yeah oh that's nice and uh, do you always you know you are shooting close to your dad or um, you are on your own how do you do it because he not must be taking you to the cinemas hmm yeah not all always uh, sometimes i will be different not with him so i will be in my own uh, you know i will be in my own and he will be at an, another place yeah like that mm mm-hmm. mm mm-hmm. <coughs> so you are on your own now have you any time got lost because there are plenty yeah. lots of people in this events or has your do- dad got lost like harpreet mm-hmm. says once he went and asked somebody that his dad was lost you know it wasn't he yeah. who got lost so in the same way did your dad get lost no not uh, i think uh, one time i i had got lost then i searched for him i got him ah. so do you always you know memorize where you are staying and you know do you have the address or his phone number with you you remember his phone no. number no 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 you you should phone remember number. his phone yeah. number yeah i know mm-hmm. his uh, phone number i don't note down it yeah i, mm-hmm. I know his phone number okay Okay. Uh, I uh, I would like to bring this comment again. It's from Ms. Swarna Manjana, who is the vice principal from Anaga School. Says, "Well done, Anaga. Very proud of you. Thank you, ma'am, for joining to, for today's session." Yeah. Anaga, you're on mute. Thank you, ma'am, for uh, coming and encouraging me, and th- also thank you for giving me leave and <laughs> you know encouraging me further in school. yeah yeah we would like to add a big thank you for the school authorities you know when you encourage such see yeah. most of the time what happens is children of this age are only into selfies you know it's always only the thing of photography as and a phone only for selfie and uh, here these children they know, i am sure they do take selfies also but at the same time you know they have Uh, develop these hobbies because of encouragement all around encouragement from the school and from home and it's a great hobby this is one hobby which doesn't consider age you know you can start from you know like these kids who started when they were 6 to 8 years and you can uh, there's no end to it there's no age limit to this so it's a wonderful hobby i'm sure the children do agree you know they enjoy i had asked them is it because your parents forced you into it or something that you started photography the answer was always no we just enjoy doing it mm-hmm. yeah and there again can get shout out for param from uh, christian mendonka says all the best param thank you thank you christian It's a wonderful shot, you know. The way yeah. I try to capture the minute details. Yeah, this was shot this, in. Uh... Go ahead. Yeah, Pram. this was shot. 
this was shot in uh, kerala uh, tayam uh, when they were getting uh, ready by make uh, they were uh, they were makeuping so they were so friendly uh, so i could have uh, i could take this photo so you consciously thought you wanted to include only the hands and the face not of the man who yeah. is doing the makeup yeah so what was your thought no. process why did you do that uh because uh, i didn't i did not capture his uh, face so i just cropped the uh, hands and uh, the face of the guy and this picture of yours has won an award right yeah it's wonderful there's a question from uh, mr adnan nazir isn't it hard for you to shoot in events and crowded places because you are in two all answer to this is coming in few slides you know uh, there's a very interesting uh, image what param has and that will answer this question yeah yeah i think we'll keep the answer to that later image yes hmm yeah uh, this was uh, shot in kerala uh, same uh, same in the same uh, day uh, that you have seen in the last picture uh, there are many times like in two days they, it will be continuously happening so mm-hmm. this was in early morning yeah so you hardly sleep when you go for these events yeah if uh, sometimes i sleep uh, if uh, there are uh, long breaks or else i don't mm-hmm. sleep that much mm. Mm. this was shot uh, in a nearby place it was uh, so near uh, to our house to my house so i came alone to this uh, first uh, this this cola uh, my fa- my father was not with me i came by cycle mm. <laughs> so you you carried your camera with you and you cycle to the spot to take picture so yeah. you knew that this event is happening yeah uh, and was it a holiday or you missed school no oh, it was uh, sunday sunday okay <laughs> yeah that's wonderful so you so decided to you know? show all the three people hmm. sorry i have to yeah Yeah, you can uh, respond for a minute and bring the next comment uh, after this. So, Param, why did you choose to show all the three people and not just this man right in the foreground? Uh, because uh, there is, uh, there is a, even they are uh, making something. Uh, mm-hmm. So, I included that. You included that. yeah the right thing to have done yeah talking about uh, taking cycles and running and to get an image mm. uh, rasik sir from chennai says i have seen mm. sperm running away with camera from its father <laughs> that would be a fun scene <laughs> yeah Uh, this was shot in uh, Kerala. Uh, I don't know it, the name of the daiva. I just uh, click it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So all these events have either daiva or bhutas, is it? Who are enacting? Yeah, most of them. Who are yeah, performing. Mm. Yeah. you know it's difficult to choose now color or black and white both look yeah yeah absolutely. it's so impressive you know the color on the face really stands out so well yeah 
this is the photo you have seen earlier uh, mm. yeah which was in monochrome here yeah, both of them are absolutely beautiful so so do you yourself decide which picture you want to you know in black and white and which you want in color or does somebody suggest to you no um, my father does everything uh, he mm. tells what is right and what is wrong so you learn from him yeah that's very nice but only shooting you do on your own taking the pictures yeah. you don't take yourself mm. yeah uh this is a daiva called mukambi guliga uh, this was uh, getting dressed up before uh, the before uh, before the jump to the fire uh, it dances and then it jumps to the fire the okay. so one thing i would like to point out about param also just like how anadha knew all the species names look at him he knows the names of the characters here you know that's so amazing yeah that that's so you know that's a very right point and looks like uh, you know param you love capturing the details you know yeah so well captured so well captured yeah and uh, our task face amazing param you are an excellent photo artist no doubt i'm sure you will overtake many of us <laughs> aim for high and yeah, uh, yeah he is a param wheel <laughs> <laughs> definitely <laughs> i know yeah. this is one of satishism <laughs> yeah you should add it to that list yeah yeah here is the answer to that Uh, you know, question from uh, Mr. Adnan. It says, uh, "You are too tall." I mean, it's an advantage for him the way he gets to shoot this perspective. I mean, who would have shot to shoot, uh, you know, in between and get this kind of nice, uh, yeah. interesting capture? I know between two people, you know, getting a part of them, yeah. framing them, including them in the frame, and then True. taking this. it's amazing param you purposely included those two people param uh i didn't go and in front of the daiva so mm. there were uh, the main uh, main people who who were standing in front so i came between them and took the uh, took, <laughs> the, uh, took this photo yeah nice. see so this is the advantage of being short now you know all the tall guys sometimes it's good for you to go on your knee and then check it out yeah trying different perspective is so much fun there is one yeah. such example yeah the color version of the first image of it mm. mm. look at the expression he has got on the artist exactly at the right angle land the expression is so well captured there mm. and here to this is the uh, color version of the monochrome version you have seen earlier mm. Mm. Yeah. Now in the colors. Yeah. Yeah, this was shot in uh, Kerala. I am uh, yeah. This is on the next level. Yeah. Yeah. color one also you know it looks amazing really and uh, did you like the color one or the monochrome in this param yeah i like the colors you like the color and why do you like the color one than the monochrome uh, can you tell us because 
yeah it is shining too much and uh, it looks very nice it looks nice yeah the color contrast with the background and yeah. the orange yeah it stands yeah. out really well hmm so have you also submitted these images in salons and other competitions yeah mm -hmm. this was shot in uh, puttur uh, this is my relative's house so uh, this is palushti deva uh, so this happened in a house is it the events take place in yeah. a house yeah and uh, you know the uh, is it uh, you know they arrange for these pujas at home or is it the people you know your relatives who do this they take a vow how does this even happen in what occasion do they do this uh, it happens in uh, some houses uh, mm -hmm. mostly in houses yeah So it's mostly takes place in houses, and uh, it happens throughout the year, or is it during festivals? No, it uh, happens once in a, once in a year. Okay, so you get invited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. This is the same in image, but uh, I'm uh, I'm with the uh, yeah. It is a little wider. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a this is this is a uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I shot this near. Uh, puttur uh, so it is uh, very very aggressive and uh, uh, it is also very nice like that it is also friendly and also uh, aggressive so when you at a higher level you know when you, you are standing on a stool or where you no, standing uh, on the... i was uh, behind the people Uh, there mm -hmm. was a place. Uh, there was a hmm. compound. I was uh, inside that compound. I yeah, shot from this. This is an amazing image that you've got. You know the contrast. You know between this man in the foreground and uh, the, you know the other man who is made up with. It's amazing makeup on the face and the expression that you've got is just at the right moment. You know the eyes. So, so did you, uh, you know, give pay attention to all that? That, you know, what his expression yeah. was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Amazing. It's a stunning image, I should say. It's stunning. Thank you. This is a Mukam Bhuliga. See, you can see the. pieces of uh, wood uh, it will be burnt and uh, before that uh, it usually turns three times around that and uh, next it will jump on that then there will be five to six members uh, pulling it uh, from that fire so this is before it uh, jumps to the fire uh, in this image i you can see it is uh, like up, upwards so i was sitting in the ground hmm even uh, this is the same same image of that place see what i like about the way he is explaining is he identifies it with the bhuta not with a person so he keeps calling it it you know he uses the word it it jumps into the fire it's you know pulling it so you see him identifying it with the the image and the personality with the action it's with the event itself it's not about you know the artist behind this one so he is seeing only the act not the artist that's a good uh, observation 
uh, even the so short uh, see it jumps in that fire like this so oh. you can see so two to three people uh, pulling it from that fire mm -hmm. so are you careful with your camera equipment when you're shooting these because there must be a lot of sparks flying around yeah so have you had uh, you know the camera or the lens damaged any time no not uh, not damaged hmm so you've been really careful yeah Good. not only the equipment you have to be careful about yourself also you know you don't want a spark to come and fall on you yeah This is the same image you have seen it in black and white. Yeah. Uh, actually, in this photo, I did not uh, use flash. Uh, someone, someone was use, using flash at the right time. I, I captured this. <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> the story is so well depicted. Mm. Uh, at same place, uh, there will be four to five uh, divas. Uh, you saw earlier. Uh, this is the same place where uh, it was uh, it was so even this was uh, this was also at the same place look at the costumes you know it's really amazing the way they have made this i'm sure it's all handmade and you know yeah mm. um, this was a uh, shot near puttur uh um, there was there was no lighting uh, so i used my flash hmm. so you know yeah, how to use the flash is it a built in no, flash or you use an external no no it is built in flash i don't know that much about the uh, flash mm -hmm. yeah by the time we have next presentation from the little master yeah, yeah. we will have you want more creative images with the off camera of flash absolutely what's the framing it's mm. it's so different uh, it, it uh, wear some mask after some time this is panjurli dai yeah mm -hmm. this is the same photo but in color was yeah yeah this was the picture that somebody asked you know about why we have we chosen a monochrome to show a monochrome when in that you could see you know the atmosphere came out so well in monochrome the, the smoke and the lighting yeah. really looked good Uh, this is image from uh, uh, near Bantwal, uh, the same place, Kada Betu. Uh, three things happen there. Uh, one is that uh, Bhuta Kola. Another one is uh, uh, there will be a Ratha Bandi. They will pull it to the field. And uh, this is not Kamla. This is like Kamla, but. Uh, there is they, there is no competition they just uh, run for one one time this is called pukari kambla hmm. you have given us the information even before i could ask i was about to ask you if this was also a kambla no no it was not hmm. Thank you. 
this is from kerala tayya uh, is the award winning image oh daiva kana yeah. chitragalu ninna vivaranegalu amogavagi veparam ananda vayitu madu that's what rajaram says rajaram sir thank you thank you this is your award winning image this is the yeah. one which won an award at the yps salon right yeah this was a short uh... Uh, it is just uh, near uh, to my house uh, hmm. there was a it was a sports meet uh, national level sports meet uh, so okay. there will be procession there will be many types of uh, like uh, pilivesha and many hmm. types of uh, so this was one of them i sat down uh, there was a place Uh, slightly mm. up up mm. up of the ground so i sat there and click click this photo so why did you sit down what was the reason for you to sit down and take a picture uh, because the legs of this uh, uh, jokers are too long it would uh, i just uh, experimented and it looked it uh, looked good yeah yeah so you made them look taller you you made them look like they're reaching the sky yeah so you want the sky yeah, is, uh, so beautiful yeah so that was a good idea to sit down and go to a lower angle and take a picture yeah this is so here you did it on your own or did your dad say come on sit down sit down and take a picture no uh, he was not with me See, <laughs> they are really little masters, isn't it, Harpe? Yeah, as uh, you know, we got the comments like he runs away, and definitely, and they come out with this kind of images, and definitely the parents won't be mad, you know, if they run away and come out with these kind of images. <laughs> really good, Param. Really good. This is amazing. I love this image. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Ramaya Rao says fantastic images for them. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, who is uh, Mrs. Ramaya Rao? She is a teacher in our institution. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. she must also be a proud teacher and you are a proud student wonderful thank you thank you ma'am for attending the program uh this was shot in uh, kadabet to same place uh, this daiva see this daiva just uh, moves around the field Uh, so it does not perform any dance but it is also a dance mm-hmm. uh this was uh, shot in kerala tayam uh, this time the lights were all off uh, only the light of that uh, torch uh, made it look like this yeah i was about to ask like what is the light source because it looks it looks too dark and how did you yeah, manage only, to get uh, such a prop yeah hmm. only the lights uh, of that uh, torch fire torches <laughs> okay smart this is the same place uh, see this is the uh, ratha bandi uh, mm-hmm. it is very rare it is very rare uh, only few places in south canara 
maybe has this so many members uh, will be gathered and they will pull that uh, ratbandi to the center of the field mm-hmm. so it's a field See, covered in water or is it a lake what what kind of a water body is it no, no it's a field uh, hmm uh, it's covered uh, with rain water with rain water okay See, yeah, you can see even the rata bandi and uh, kambi mm-hmm. so interesting to see all this events happening you know around and uh, a lot of us living in urban areas we don't get to see all this and neither do we have the knowledge about it it's so wonderful that he's taken these pictures and you know today we get to see Uh, this is the first image i shot uh, in yeah. my balcony i tried for 4 to 5 days uh, hiding in the blanket so one time i got this uh, i should add to this story you know when um, we saw his uh, pictures and you know we chose all the pictures uh, this was the only picture of the bird he had so you know i suggested that i said when you know why you want to bring in just one picture of a bird let us end the uh, presentation with the other even pictures mm-hmm. and then you know param of course his father told on his behalf he said no no param really wants to show this picture because it is the first picture he has taken of a bird and you know that he actually yeah. tried he made a hide of his own and you did right param for two or three days yeah. you try to get this bird yeah so now now he is the next presentation is going to be on wildlife right yeah. on birds or on wildlife well so this is the opening shot for the next presentation uh this was a shot mm. from my terrace uh mm-hmm. it is set on a ca- cable uh Hmm. Yeah. Do you know the name of this bird, Param? No, I don't know. <laughs> It's a munia. Is it right, Anika? Yes, it's a scaly-breasted munia. There she goes. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh. Uh, and this is from the next one. Yeah. So now you know the name? No, I don't. Know. Anaka just told you. No, I I don't know the name. Let's. She's going to help you. She's going to help you with that. It's a scaly breasted munia. Okay. Hmm. after the presentation will and, and this one uh even this was a shot from my balcony i don't know the name it's a sunbird i think you can tell us yeah it's a sunbird yeah yeah it's a male sunbird that's right yeah wonderful hmm uh, this was uh, from my balcony this is a uh, not this is cropped image Mm-hmm. It was a uh, very small bird, so I cropped it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the flying. Uh, this was shot uh, from my aunt's house in Mangalore. Uh, there are many. Uh, I don't know the name of the bird. Uh, there are many types. Of, uh, many. birds like this flying around uh, the buildings mm-hmm. yeah so this is like uh, flying param closing image of param's presentation good job param kudos and congratulations and we wish to see more and more in future when robots and 
most most importantly you know these kids are i wouldn't say kids <laughs> they are masters inspiring us you know you have been inspiring us so that's huge and thank you for that excellent excellent a standing ovation for param yes he does deserve a standing ovation wonderful oh, really good show param uh, thank you would like to explore uh, this you know this genre with you thank you yeah even i should start trying work that yeah okay so come to uh, yukti's presentation now last but not the least okay. there is another bright have... star on the horizon yeah so uh, this is Sorry, a long one. one yeah i just say start with the not one <laughs> a more of uh, uh this he was just eating leaves and jumping from branches and he just gave me this uh, look up for just a little while and i could click this image perfect was this in a forest where where was this taken you uh, think it was in forest uh, in a zone of kabini i guess so this is a tasker again from kabini so he was uh, yeah he was like playing hide and seek kind of with us uh, he was just uh, grazing the leaves he was gentle he was quiet and uh, i could uh, click the shot it's wonderful i would say this is a very yeah. bold shot you know most of the time we try to avoid the branches and all but then you included mm-hmm. it and you made a really nice creative shot out of it definitely yeah. a very bold image yeah she has framed it so well you know i mean with all those uh, uh blurred to yeah. thing in the foreground here uh i'm sorry i and couldn't show some... you sorry i couldn't hear you for a while i'm sorry mm-hmm. yeah that's okay that's all right okay and uh, we have shout out for yukti from majeshri mahesh sai yukti yeah, yeah. She's teacher she is your teacher there she is giving you a high five saying yukti wow. yukti yeah <laughs> and we have uh, vishruta yeah she is always my wow. best friends perfect thank you so much for being here this is very true about yukti you know she seems silent but yeah she is serious yeah thank you ma'am for joining with us today so this is a still from yakshagana i wrote this in a village mm-hmm. called tirthalli so the great poet poem who is from that village so it's a district uh, village it's in district of shimoga this was the first time ever i visited yakshagana and uh, a typical yakshagana act goes on from night 8 or 9 uh, o'clock it starts till morning 6 6 so this guy is yeah. playing with the, the fire mm-hmm. and uh, this is all i could click because there were a lot of people around so so did you stay up the whole night to witness the no uh, i actually no you could I had to go for a camp i had gone to hingara for a camp on camp so we stayed there till one o'clock and according to the villagers there the you know the uh, from one o'clock the act becomes more uh, you know better more nice okay. better okay. i think hmm. It's a very nice uh, composition, very really creative compos- composition. Yeah. Do you have an idea what Yakshagana is about, Yukti? Yeah, Yakshagana 
uh, they you know bring out pieces and bits and pieces of uh, from the epics that's ramayana mahabharata bhagavad gita comes under mahabharata so they bring out bits and pieces mm-hmm. from the epics mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. the yakshagana is really one masterpiece yeah i my my when i saw the you know the few mm-hmm. Uh, for a few hours that I stayed there, it was really mm. good, and mm-hmm. it's the same dance of folk dance of Karnataka. Yeah, and even that thing that he is holding there, the fire uh, thing, it's mm. very. Mm. He was, you know, coming by uh, in the side. Mm. So mm. I went to him. I said, "Can I, you know, hold it for, uh, you know, can I just try it out?" And when I uh, held it, it was very heavy. Oh. So you did the fold it then, uh, okay. You know, so he allowed uh, you to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Looks like there's been a little glitch. We'll have to wait for Hardik to bring on your image. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, hey, sorry, there was some uh, glitch. So, did you uh, try holding it? I, I guess I, I missed that part. Yeah, it was kind of oh, good. Okay. <laughs> So this is the tree shrew. Please don't mis- think that it's a squirrel, but it's a totally different thing. Uh, cousins to squirrels, I guess. So it's called as Madras tree shrew. Uh, there are different uh, types of tree shrews, and this one I got it in BR Hills. It's a pretty rare one, and uh, okay. yeah, we found few during the safari. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, true, it's right? not one of those very common pictures. Yeah, it's not very. Mm-hmm. And yeah. most of the people uh, I know, they don't know about this mm. species. Yeah. It's called as Madras tree shrew or Indian tree shrew. Okay. What a shot! So this is a full frame shot. It's not the. It's not an image that I cropped. So this is a famous tiger, tigress from Atadoba. Her name's Maya. She was there with her mate. That's Matka Sir. This was one of the one of my favorite encounters of tiger tigers because it was very close to our jeep. And mm-hmm. Maya is a tigress. She is okay to you know be near to jeep. She's not shy. She's a very bold tiger tigress. And so are her cubs. Even her cubs are very bold. Mm-hmm. So uh, she was sniffing around there, and mm-hmm. uh, with my hundred four hundred. You got a close up shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with my hundred four hundred, this is all I could get. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even zoom my lens. It was at hundred mm when I clicked this. It was at hundred mm. Okay. So how? So what are the lenses that you use, Yupti? Uh, I have a wide angle Sigma wide angle, hundred four hundred fifty five to fifty mm. mm. That's it. So you carry both the lenses wherever you go. Uh, no, actually I don't carry all the lenses, but hundred four hundred. Whenever I go to wildlife, I carry that lens with me most of the times. Mm. And places for Bandhavgarh or Tadoba, it has beautiful sceneries. So I mm. usually. Carry Wide angle also, so that I could click some nice oh. images. Okay, so you do research on the place you are going to, and then decide on what lens to carry with you. Yeah. So uh, before I, uh, so hmm. this is a Malabar pit wiper. And a big, big thanks to Girish Gowda. He is uh, my mentor for uh, macro photography. He, this was the this click I clicked uh, in my first macro trip, first ever macro trip to Hingara. So uh, Girish Gowda, he helped me out with my settings, with my flash, 
and uh, yeah it is the all the macro images that i'll be showing is because of hmm. Hmm. so yeah, uh, so well, did you also have an encounter with the leeches the famous hingara leeches in the hospice yeah i did have an uh, yeah i did have an encounter with the leeches hmm. and uh, yeah so this is biomycin's mushroom or fungi uh, so they are actually found you know a lot together but that day i couldn't you know click it in the wild because it was too much raining uh -huh. so this is a mushroom that glows in the night hmm. and it has uh, this molecule i really not able to get the name but that molecule when it comes in contact with oxygen that is when it glows so that is the main reason that it glows and it's a very rare one not not rare but most of the people don't know about it and it grows on dead branches again hmm. uh, this is Uh, all credits goes to Girish Gada. So you used a macro lens. The mushroom is very tiny, right? Yeah, I used a fifty mm lens for all my images. Fifty mm -hmm. mm lens, and I used a built-in flash. Mm -hmm. And uh, Girish Gada, he was very kind enough to lend me his Rhinox and uh, his flash diffuser. Oh, so you did use the Rhinox also, right? Yeah, very for few images. I didn't use it for all. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Very simple and uh, you know, yet so creative. Yeah. With this, we can do even more creative stuff, like you mm -hmm. know, take a matchstick and you you know, uh, the matchstick and uh, we even the phone light for this image for a few uh -huh. seconds. The phone mm -hmm. so that the phone light mm -hmm. falls on it and the light absorbs mm -hmm. long before the shot. So that's the reason. Yeah. Long exposure shots, we can do any miracles with it. Mm. Yeah. So like uh, find it. <laughs> so that's Black Panther and his mate. Uh, that's a female leopard. So this is the first ever uh, Black Panther sighting I had in my whole life. He wasn't kind enough to me to come out and give us a proper tour. Was sitting there inside, and I'm very angry with him for that. And uh, this was in the evening safari, actually. And I, I think I think yeah. Sorry, Yuki. Yeah. Uh, can Can you bring back uh, Satish's comment? It's worth reading. <laughs> The poet here. He says. Yukti, you have lot of asakti. Use your yukti, do your work with bhakti. You will be blessed by Ma Shakti. God bless you, Yukti. So there is a poem written for you by Satish. Thank you so much, Satish sir. Yeah, that this is from Kabini. You would have already guessed about that. Mm -hmm. So this is a white bush frog. I got this in the yeah. I got this in the night. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's a nocturnal uh, frog. And uh, yeah, that's it about it. So were you so, with Anika at this uh, no. workshop? No, this is no, a different I, one, is it? Yeah, I didn't uh, do a macro trips with Anika. I This was in the Hungara trip. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. But it's the same species, though. Yeah, it's a species. Yeah. Uh, it's a very common bush frog, and it's found throughout the Western Ghats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all frogs are nocturnal, so yeah. they start calling out in mm. the evening, you know. Okay, um, Shakasi says uh, my audio level is very poor compared to all other. Sir, in case we name, what will we say? Can't say much in front of these masters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, so um, this image I did it in Lotus Path in Hampi. So uh, through this image, I want to put a message to all. Please do not damage or uh, the heritage of India. India is known for its heritage, and uh, Hampi it's the, like you know one of the most famous spots among uh, in India. There are so yeah. many you know, historical monuments, and please don't damage it by writing yours and friend's name or uh, whosoever's name, because uh, you know in the future uh, you need to keep this you know so that your kids can see it, their further generations can see it, and be, uh, I as an Indian, I'm very proud that uh, in India we have such beautiful historical mo monuments to see, and there's a lot of history behind it. So please don't damage the ruins. Of that's, India. that's a wonderful message. That's a very powerful message that you have given to the viewers. Yes. Yeah. So you know, there's a lot to learn from kids, really. Yeah, and if you see anyone doing it, request them not to. Request them. Yeah, it's not about fighting or shouting at them. It's always you know. You can work wonders with requests and being polite. And this yeah. this way of you know conveying a message is also very powerful. Where you're telling people, you're showing them, you're explaining to them about our heritage and requesting them not to, you know, uh, spoil it. Wonderful. Thank you, Ma. So this is again from the Hingara trip. Uh, it's a Scorpio, Scorpion. That's all I know. So I found this in our uh, room bathroom. Mm -hmm. We uh, gently brought it out and then put it in the rock. We and it, uh, we even uh, put a UV light. Mm -hmm. So Scorpios uh, uh, have these, uh, you know, sheet kind of a thing on top of the on, uh, you know, on top of their body that glows when we put UV light. Mm -hmm. So it's like UV sensitive uh, bodies. Wow. So I could. That's interesting. Yeah. All I know it's a common Scorpio. I don't know the scientific names or you know the actual name. You know this image and the previous image, the mushroom one. It, it just says the you know less is more, and uh, you are showing it so perfectly here. Just so simple elements, and still it stands out so well. Great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, this is a tiger from Bandipur. I think it's the prince because I clicked this image like way long before. I really don't remember the name of the tiger. I don't know if it's prince or not, but uh, it, it was just a head on that male tiger. And I could keep this eye level head on for it. How did you get so eye level shot? Did you go like you are sleeping uh, on the into the car or how did you get that high level? We were in the jeep and they usually put me in the front seat. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Box of being little master, is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the furious and magnificent. So this I clicked in my last year uh, trip to my school. Uh, so okay. my Mysore Dasra lighting it's world famous now and uh, all thanks to Anaga she helped me a lot with this image thanks a lot Anaga you're always welcome you did the whole thing how did she help you explained it I, I tried clicking uh, I uh, tried clicking with different settings but I couldn't do it so I had seen Anaga's image on Instagram she had posted one uh, Mysore Palace image so I called her up like Anaga, please help me. I'm not able to do this. So she told me to, you know, change it to M mode and you know with the shutter the shutter speed and everything. And uh, I could do it. 
it's all your effort i just uh, helped you the technique something is all your effort that's nice to hear that you help each other and you know so this i clip in my relationship to sakre bhai it's a microporous fungi and it grows in the dead branches mm-hmm. and, uh, i was scared to sit down on the ground and click the image so i half sat and clicked this image from the down it's nice you know it also shows the kind of environment where you click it's not just about the close up of the mushroom and this green Very part good. that you see in the back it's mm. actually a divider kind of a thing you know in the footpaths mm. there are these uh, you know bricks they uh, put to divide uh, the roads not that big mm. ones but the small ones it's that actually mm. mm-hmm. mm. what i love about this image is uh, the way you know the greens and the blacks the contrast what it is creating and the diagonally the way it separates both is so wonderful and microporous fungi they grow more bigger it's not that they just are tiny ones mm-hmm. they grow mm-hmm. yeah okay So this image mm-hmm. editing thank you so much Hardik My so, pleasure So uh, this is a temple I am really not sure with the name of the temple but I visited this place while coming back from Sakre Bai It's a you know not a, a place that everyone knows about and name I really don't remember So I did <coughs> I did all sort of circles. Went to uh, on the lawn. Uh, I am very happy that the police weren't there to show me away. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of drama in the sky. Yeah, that's what I yeah. really like about. That's what I wanted to bring out. So I, you know, made sure that the bottom. I don't, you know, uh, take more of the bottom. I covered the sky as much as I could. Yeah, such a very dramatic sky it was. So this image I clicked in Kavini. So that uh, Chitta, mm-hmm. uh, it was you know just walking towards the other side. and i could click this image so spotted in your screen anaga was there with me in the sighting i guess yeah i think so in kavini yeah i was there i guess it's a nice connect between nice. branch and the uh, you know the deer there and yeah you know they're all you know, of the same you have some really creative composition Mm. like you add all this stuff and somehow you connect it with them so well and composition all thanks to philip ross again i take him as my mentor and he helped me a lot with composition when i you know went to the strip with him so thanks mm-hmm. a lot philip for helping me out with this so this image i clicked in bhatra so it was a boat safari late evening and those are cor- uh, sorry those were river turns uh, sitting on the branches uh, i clicked this in summer and uh, yeah i like the whole framing that i did and actually thanks to the driver of the boat driver and the naturalist they helped me a lot in clicking this image 
you know, bringing the boat back, then again going, then again bringing the boat back to the same position. We did a lot of circles for me to get this image. And thanks to them. And even thanks to my dad's yeah. friend, he helped me out with these settings too. Uh, you just thanked your drivers. And uh, yeah. that's so huge. And uh, without them, you know, whenever uh, we go out for shoot on safaris and all, it's because of them we are able to go to places and capture those scenes, right? And you thanking them is such a great thing. And yeah, we should always keep that in mind. Thank, uh, you know, and this is not uh, yeah. you clicking the shutter. You know, it, it all comes together. Uh, that's a yeah. great uh, thing you do there. And this is a wonderful image. I mean, definitely someone can write a nice poem to that. So this is the color image of the monochrome image that Anaga had shown. So it's the Longu sitting on the branch and wondering something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is contemplating. Do I go up or do I stay here and pose for these people? <laughs> yeah. It's a very nice moment, Cot. So uh, this is your uh, award winning picture, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's my first tiger that I found in Bandavgarh. His name is Bamera Sir. Uh, I think people even call him as Mr. X. Mm. And um, I'm now feeling very sad because uh, his mate, Solo, she died with uh, oh. two cubs. Oh, that's and, sad. Yeah, it's really sad. And yeah, I, I'm very happy that I could get, get this image of him. So, Very rightly said by uh, Gopinath. Sir. So uh, this is the first time I tried something called as long exposure shot. Uh, so uh, this is like some place near uh, Hingara. I think mm -hmm. it's called K, but I'm not sure about the name of the place. This uh, image I clicked again way long ago. So it's a waterfall. And yeah, that's it. It's so very, you have learned all about slow shutter speeds and all that? Or were you just asked to you know, come to a certain setting? Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't get you. Do you know? Do you know about slow shutter speeds that you use for the, this one, or were you just helped with this image? So was, was it your helped. own decision? You were also helped, but have yeah. you learned about that now? Yeah, I've learned about that now. I can do it on my own right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've been trying slow shutter speed at home also. You know, like light mm -hmm. painting, these Diwali mm -hmm. crackers too. Mm -hmm. Can, you know, do creative stuff with the yeah. yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, just to add to the lie, uh, you know, slow shutter. Uh, Diwali is a very nice time to do some slow shutter experiments. Uh, you all around there's lights, you know, the diyas and there's uh, colorful lights out there. So go on slow shutter, take out your cameras, go on slow shutter, and try some different uh, nice abstract patterns. You move the light or you move the camera. So that's very nice creative stuff to do. I did some yesterday with the Diaz. Mm. Oh, wow. Wonderful. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, to anyone who does not know what, I know the, who is not into macro photography, like it will be a big question what this is. Like I, I had, like I didn't know what this actually is before uh, I saw this. So uh, this is the eggs of Kudremu Pushpra. 
they are little developed and the frog lays the eggs in these mosses and it goes away it doesn't even cares what happens to the, frog, uh, to the eggs uh, are they still alive or dead or it doesn't care it's a, a carefree frog and the main reason why it lays eggs in the uh, uh, in these mosses because the mosses are very moisturized it holds water and uh, so, and the eggs get proper nourishment and water if mm -hmm. they are uh, you know if they are in the, these mosses so uh, that's the reason it uh, lays eggs there and this is an image that i clicked with uh, girish gowda's rhinox mm -hmm. See, yeah, I mean, you can see the developed frog inside those exacts. And it keeps jumping. It's so transparent. Oh, I see. It does. That's interesting. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did you see the Kudre Mohan No, I couldn't frog? see that. I only could, uh, see, the, I only could see the frog, uh, fro the eggs of the frog. So this is a Malabar gliding frog. People call it as the gem of the Western Guards. So I got this inside the property yeah. of Hingara. Mm. It was a female and very sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the, you know, the way it, it looks so sleek and so graceful. And I like the composition, the way the leaves are placed, you know, you have just composed it so well. And uh, thanks to uh, one of my fellow mate, his name is Vikas Patil. He helped me with the flash lightings. Mm -hmm. He helped me to clip this image. So thanks to him. And I have to say, this is my face when I get up in the morning. <laughs> when my mom wakes <laughs> up. <laughs> It's a nice face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is the hmm. male of Rangri. I told you that I was angry with him. This is the reason I was angry with him. The female gave us a beautiful show in the morning. And he was sleeping or, you know, he was somewhere inside. And uh, I did this into black and white because I like the whole black and white effect that it gave. As it was in the morning, a few shots were overexposed and a few were, you know, less, uh, you know, the light wasn't proper. True. So that's the main reason I think I turned it into black and white. So that no problem with the lighting. Yeah. yeah. Nice camouflage. Yeah. And uh, she was actually giving calls also to Blackie that please, you know, come down. He was really mm. I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is one of my favorite images because uh, because of this image I was uh, you know recognized by people mm -hmm. and it's a vulture sitting on a perch broken branch in Kabini backwaters and mm -hmm. uh, I was the only one who clicked this in our whole jeep nobody else clicked this image mm -hmm. I was the only one who clicked this it was uh, you know winter mornings in Kabini it's you know too much fog. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Somehow I managed to click this image. After I click this image, mm -hmm. after a few minutes, it flew away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of my most favorite. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Just look at the shape of the, you know, the log. Also, you know, if you see the bottom portion, it looks like a swan. You know, with the wings raised and the head looking up. It's uh, it's simply beautiful. In the foggy atmosphere, also is so nice. It's really wonderful. Thank yeah. you. So artistic. Mm -hmm. that, I guess so. Did you say that no one else shot and you went mm. and saw, got the image and you were the uh, that's that's being smart, you know. 
so shoot something what no one else is shooting or shoot the way no one else is shooting you know that is the way you stand out in crowd and uh, you get different perspective you get to show something different to the world and this is perfect so this is this special i mean this image is very very special for me and very near to my heart because it's the first tiger i ever got in my whole life so i got this in br hills so there's a water hole called anikere and uh, you know the naturalist in kegudi it's a jela property they always make fun of me because i always call anikere as arsikere <laughs> so <laughs> and this was clip Way before in 2007 or something, very long ago, and uh, yeah, so it was a mother with four cubs. It was five tigers okay. together. It's my first tiger that I ever got. Uh-huh. Five tigers together, and yeah, it was like a bumper safari for us. Like continue as a, yeah. as far as I remember, continuously three, four safaris. We were getting the same type tigers in the same spot. that's being lucky yeah vulture on that tree is really good thank you so much yeah. so this is the last image and this is a uh, kadle ganesha from uh, hampi back side you can see the pura of uh, virupaksha temple so i clicked this in like 2 years ago and uh, you know i reframed the images to be honest the first time i visited uh, hampi like way long ago again uh, i clicked some similar images and when i rewent to kabini 2 years ago i remade the images with you know the composition the painting and all of those so i for this image i waited for a long time because i didn't wanted anyone to be on the stairs or you know walking there around but also there's a guy there standing there's just one person here yeah. yeah. so thank you everyone for giving uh, all the three of us such a big opportunity thank you anaga param prema hardik and the whole vps community i'm really very happy for this you're most welcome man wonderful images and we wish you great great success and you know enjoyment the main thing is we want you to enjoy your journey in photography and be role models to other children mm-hmm. i only hope that you know they're going to be a lot more who will pick this up and make it a hobby thank you lovely images yukti you have a very diverse profile thank you nice image of yukti and anuga both was nice yeah that was a wonderful show by all three of you the best part is in these times you know uh, at this age probably people will talk about the technical aspects i shot this image on so and so f number or shutter or iso but you're talking beyond your technical aspects that shows how matured you are you are becoming you know for photography being so creative being so bold uh, each one of you you know the way you compose your images and uh, definitely the guidance what you're getting uh, from your parents or from your school so that's re- that's really adds up and the way you're taking it up it's so positive and this diwali i guess uh, you know a good light to all and uh, we wish to become like you you know we bring out the child in us and uh, do more creative stuff thank you for showing us some wonderful images and uh, being free thank you so much yeah so this session has been a little long because then you know we took all three thinking that there may not be too many but then you see the wonderful collection they had and of course they were so good at even you know uh, with their narration so 
it did take a little extra time but thank you for staying with us and uh, you know encouraging our little masters over to you hardik so and uh, just like i would like to you know give a note to our audience that if you wish to you know your your kids uh, to become a junior associate just go to the our website or uh, there's a link i'm dropping in the comment section you can uh, learn more about uh, how you can become a junior associate and what all you get out of it and we'll have a small q and a session uh we have almost uh, you know we are at 8 now we'll yeah. do a small q and a session and then we'll come to the end of session yeah uh, can i just say something mm-hmm. uh, i forgot to thank my teachers and my friend uh, i'm really thankful for all of them to be here and you know the when i saw my teachers commenting there that you know gave me more confidence to talk more so thank you all the teachers and all of my friends whoever has joined today thank you so much you have been a lot of support yeah it it means a lot you know when your friends and your teachers your relatives are standing next to you so miss jayshree mohesh says your focus is to capture the best in your frames rather than concentrating on um, a single concept it gets you a great and diverse collection keep going quite true thank you so much ma'am miss suvarna gaurav from uh, psi mumbai says nice images you take keep it up thank you so much ma'am So, any questions to the little masters from the viewers is welcome. I'm sure they can handle anything now, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't get afraid to ask questions. They can really, you know. Can really <laughs> yeah. Sir, I want to say so. Very nice pictures from nature as well as uh, photo travel and aga. Wonderful nature photos. Param, great monochrome and color pictures. This all three of you. Yeah, first one, two. Yeah, looks like there are no questions coming up. So. Well, that okay, one, one question, an open question from mm-hmm. uh, Mr. Madhu. Uh, what is the ambition? So, what are what are your ambition, Anaga? Um, my ambition is to spread awareness and conserve the species, like you know about frogs and snakes, and even tigers and leopards and all of those, because uh. For, tigers and leopards a lot of people are you know tell that you have to conserve them conserve elephant don't poach for ivory and all that but there are very very few people who are you know uh, telling to conserve uh, spreading the message of conservation of frogs and snakes they are bio indicators and you need to conserve them so i want to give back to the earth and to frogs and snakes that's my ambition wow That's a wonderful thought. Great, great reason. Great thought, Anaka. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Param. What's your ambition uh, in photography? I have not uh, decided yet. <laughs> so he's being honest. You haven't decided to continue with photography, yeah. or you haven't decided what you want to do with photography. No, uh, photography no. only as a hobby, not as. as a hobby yeah yeah that's great it's a good hobby and you enjoy your photography yeah do you do selfies with your phone no 
you don't put us selfies here yukti anaka i do sometimes you do and you do okay so uh, is it easy to take a selfie you know i mean of course a safe selfie i would say and uh, do you know who the master of selfie is at yps this is a quiz who is the master of selfie at you yps yeah to to all audience also they can comment only vikas uncle can do <laughs> <laughs> yeah so do you agree yukti yeah 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 a selfie master yeah i do mm. uh, anyone who has been to our event this we miss that part of uh, it yeah selfie is like a must the beginning in the between or at the end selfies are must and we wait for vikas to come in and get that perfect shot so that we all can post on our uh, you know yes and that used to be so much fun coming all together and making sure we get the perfect selfie we used to you know he used to go on the chair and uh, with his long selfie stick hands that was so so much fun i hope we do that soon mm-hmm. yeah we'll take this as a last question this from uh, sumarli uh, how do you connect with other young photographers yep anaga uh so uh, most of the people i know and young photographers i met them through camps uh, conducted by philip ross other than that uh, okay. you know i met them on, i met a lot of people on social media and such really mm-hmm. great photographers like Aman Sharma, Mayas, uh, Disha Prasad, Mansi, Pritam Vedanj, you no, know, all of them. Vineet. Nice. So you're in touch with everyone, and you do discuss various aspects of photography, and uh, you know, learn from each yeah. other. Yeah, we have, you know, we have WhatsApp groups, and you know, we have uh, groups on other social medias. We discuss. You know, we meet up sometimes, and yeah, we, we travel together sometimes. So it's yeah, a very friendly nice. community, and everyone is really it's a close knit community. Is what I would mm. like to say. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that's interesting. That's interesting. How about you, Yukti? How do you connect with the your young photographers? Uh, as Anaga told, most of the people I've met through Philip, and uh, that's the reason I guess I and Anaga have you know common friends. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I do learn you know uh, from few of them. I message them if I have any doubts or you know questions or anything, and they help me out. Like Vineet, he helped me out a lot with the, uh, the splash photography. So. How about you, Param? How do you connect? Uh, I don't have uh, many photography friends. Okay. No, I don't have any. This is uh, only <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, I will be single. Okay. Well, you will get uh, to know more, and you know also photo- you can connect with yeah. uh, Anaga and Yuki. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you might not have a lot of uh, photography friends, but then I see a lot of shout out for Param on YouTube, and uh, this one from uh, Mr. Christian. And I believe Param, you are into a lot of gaming. <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that was the last question. and if you wish to know more about our junior associates uh, do check out our website and thank you once again anaga param and yukti for uh, you know coming here and showing your wonderful yeah. work thank you so much yeah thank you thank you all three yukti anaga and param it was a wonderful show keep it up
thank you thank you so much for giving this opportunity as well as uh, you know thank you yukti and param for being such great co presenters oh thanks to you thanks to you yukti and anandha thank you yeah before we end the show uh, just a quick announcement if you want to become a member all you need to do is scan this code or log into our website www.ypsbengaluru.com and do not forget to hit like follow and uh, share our content on our social media our handle across all is same that is yps bengaluru if you are not subscribed to our youtube channel do it right away and do hit the bell icon that you get notified as soon as we schedule live events and the content 24th november is the last day to submit your best work to ypsc international salon 2020 right after this you can go to the website salon.ypsbengaluru.in to check out and get more information about the salon our next meet Next YPS speech is from Mr. Anil Rasal Singh. He will talk form and color. It's going to be an interesting session where he shows how so you know normal structures can made into a, a contemporary art. So that's it for this weekend. Happy Diwali to everyone. Be safe, stay home, and uh, I really wish and I hope uh, this brings uh, good luck to all of you. and until next week good evening and stay safe